Friends, this is likely your first shop and pay order on Uber Eats, or more specifically, a shop and deliver order. This is not my first one, so let me talk you through and you'll be very confident to do them on your own. I'm also going to give you some tips to make it easier. First, you have to have the pay card in order to do a shop and pay order. How you do that in your app, you go to your settings, that little hamburger menu, go to account, go down to plus card, and right there, that's how you say send me one. Once you have that plus card, then you can accept an order when you get one. It's going to be very clear. You'll see it'll say shop and deliver. Next, it'll tell you the store you're going to. Click on the directions to get there and your navigation will take you there. Next, it's going to tell you how many items in the name of the customer. And you can scroll through and preview. And ideally, you want to know the store layout before you get started because that's going to help you speed up. You get a little thing that says, welcome to your first shopping order. And then you can scroll through. When you find an item, what you need to do is scan the barcode. Uber Eats is very specific. You have to do it vertically. You can't have it at any other angle. You can only do that on Instacart. So once you scan the item, then you put it in the basket. If it's correct, you're going to see a little green check come up. If it's not, it'll say it's the wrong item check very carefully look at the description the price and the size of the item and that way you'll know it's the right one if it is then go ahead and say it is and take a picture of it if needed now you're going to see sometimes it gets a little hard so you need to smooth out that barcode and you can see a couple pictures here where i was trying to get it and it just didn't work and when you do see that check mark then you know you're good one pro tip, like in this order, I was looking for candy. Look for color. This is really going to help you find it faster instead of looking for a name. You can scan the whole aisle. If you look at the color that you need, you'll hone in on that easier. This helps you be faster. Once you've found all your items, you're going to see the screen with the little green flag saying, you're all set. Then you head to checkout. So in here, when you're ready to check out, you can see it's going to tell you pay with your plus card and there may be a barcode you scan in the app or you may need to scan a loyalty card, but that's all going to be within your app. Just follow the steps. It's very easy. I always tell the checker I'm doing an Uber Eats shop and pay order. That way they're aware that you're going to need bags. When you get your receipt, you're going to need to take a picture of it. Be very careful. You only get one try at this and just stay a little bit further back because you're going to see it gets cut off at the top, which is not what you're expecting. Go ahead and keep the receipt for later in case of any problems. Next, you're going to deliver it to the customer. You'll see they'll give you this nice little graphic saying you're all set with shopping once you've done your first order. Now, when you navigate to your customer, this is going to be like any other food delivery order. Most people tell you in the comments to leave it at the door. So you'll take a picture when you arrive and then mark complete. Also, I encourage you to take your own photo with your own camera. That way you have a record of your delivery. When you're dropping off the order and you take that photo, I like to put a message in there saying, thank you so much. It's a pleasure serving you. And they may increase your tip. If not, you're connecting well with your customer. I recommend as a pro tip, just do low item counts because you're going to be fast. The faster you can get in that store, shop, go to the customer, then you can get your next order. If you're in there, you're going to get bogged down contacting the customer, trying to substitute for an item, and this is really going to suck up your time. Here in California, we get Prop 22, which is extra pay, so in a way, we're getting paid for our time. Most of the United States is not like that. Time is money. So, few item count, in and out, and you're done. And you, anytime you get one of these orders, if the mileage is right and the pay is right for you, then just get it done. You're going to love it. Since Uber Eats started the shop and pay orders, I've done a few of them. I've noticed that the market's been less, so they don't come as often. But if they're few item counts, I'll take them when they offer them. And you just want to be reasonable. If it's a really long distance, just like with any order, you want to make sure you can get an order there so it may not be worth the mileage, the wear and tear on your car for a few dollars. As you get more experience, you can be a good judge of what's a worthwhile order or something that you should pass on. 
So eventually you're going to come across having to return an order. What do you do? Good thing you kept that receipt, right? Eventually this is going to happen to you. It did happen to me and you can see how that went. How much pay did I get? How much time did I spend returning that order? Thankfully, these things don't happen often, so check that out next.